malnourished. That's right. Now, today we've got award-winning journalist, mom of seven, caregiver for her 93-year-old mother, and author of Chicken Soup for the Soul, family caregivers, Joan London here. She's also joined by nutrition expert and na is it naturopathic, is yep, that right? Naturopathic it. physician, Dr. Lindsay Jones Bourne. Good to have you both here. Welcome Great back. To be back. First yeah. time yeah. for you. Thank you. Uh, the, the holidays coming up, and this is a time that a lot of people feel like you, you want to hang out and enjoy the family and yeah. just laugh and have good times. But we were reading the notes, and it says this is a good time to kind of take stock in, in what's going on. Yeah, well, my mom still lived by herself in a condo. The, every time I go to visit, because she's out on the West Coast mm -hmm. and I'm back east here, I'd go straight to her refrigerator. I'd look in her cupboards right. and I'd go open up that mm -hmm. refrigerator and say, what's in there? How old is it? And what's not in there? I mean, you got to snoop around. Mm -hmm. and not just with their food, but other things, too, that they're doing. That's you know, what happens is, I don't know if everybody realizes, is as you get older, you not only start to look older, but a lot changes. Your nutritional needs change. And believe it or not, your taste buds actually change. Exactly. And then you start taking all these different medications. I mean, it's not uncommon to take a dozen medications, right? Oh, exactly. Seniors can be on anywhere between 7 to 12 different medications, but this can impact appetite and even sometimes require dietary restrictions. So what are we looking for when we, when we open that fridge? What are we all looking right, for? Yeah. What do we want to make sure we see? All right. Mm -hmm. I found sometimes my mom would just say, I, I, it's no motivation to get up and cook anymore. But it's, this is very, very common among all seniors. It's either an inability to get up and cook their own meal or lack of motivation, a loss of taste, a loss of appetite. It can be a certain illness that they're dealing with. Believe it or not, just dental problems. And all of a sudden, they can't mm. eat anymore. And we can't forget low income. I mean, they're really oh in this. Gosh, yeah. I mean, why do we have almost 4 million seniors in this country that are malnourished? A lot of times it's because they're making a decision to buy either their medications or food. Sure. And, and, gross, mm -hmm. and, and food is not cheap. I mean, yeah. honestly, it's, yeah. just, it's ridiculous expensive to go out there, especially to buy the things that you know that are good for so you. So you have mm -hmm. to have your eyes open, and you really have to look at why. Mm -hmm. So, Dr. Lutz, can you walk us through and tell us what sure. we should be looking for, what kinds of things that, that our parents or grandparents mm -hmm. need to have and, and make sure that they have in their diet? Sure. Um, during this holiday season, when you're spending time with your aging loved ones, it's really important to observe what kind of foods they're eating, what kind of foods are being purchased, and actually by whom. Look at how their clothes are fitting. Is there weight loss, but is there weight gain? Also look, is there any sores that aren't healing? Or is like there... bruises that don't heal, you start Ab to see that. Yeah. Absolutely, dental problems like you were just talking about. Also, there can be, you really wanna know the side effects of medications that your parent is taking because those can impact appetite, cause weight loss, mm -hmm. even cause an annoying metal taste in the mouth. So it also says here that new, other nutrients that they do need, folic acid, uh, B12, vitamins, yep. C and D, and essential fatty acids. What about liquids? And where do we find it? I mean, it's not that hard to find those, like B12, and you've got Thanksgiving coming up, lots of oh. good foods for them to eat. B12, actually, the holidays are the perfect time to get your boost of B12 because turkey is the best option. But you can find it in things like seafoods and meats, milk and eggs. B12 is really important for older adults because they cannot absorb B12 as much. Mm. So sometimes I do recommend a B12 supplement on top of B12 rich foods. And vitamin C? Vitamin C and D, right? Vitamin C is huge. It's a great antioxidant. Plus, seniors have a higher requirement of vitamin C, so they should really strive for about five servings of fruits and vegetables a day. But that's really not that much. It's only about two and a half cups. And uh, fo folic acid as well, right? Folic acid is huge. Many women know about how we important know, right? folic yeah. acid is, right? Prenatal. We all, we all yeah. have it in the prenatal yeah. drugs. Mm -hmm. sure. But men need it too. Oh. Because actually as we age, homocysteine levels tend to increase. And that can lead us to things like chronic disease. So you really want to have folic acid in your diet to reduce that from happening. You and essential fatty acids. Now where do you... Super important. One thing we actually don't talk about enough because it reduces inflammation. And our oh. bodies don't make essential fatty acids, so we need to get them through food. And where can you find them? Like, give us a typical food you could find that in. Fish. Fish is the best source. So I generally recommend about two servings of fish per week. Okay. But that may not always be an option. So alternatives like hemp seed oil, use it as the base of a salad dressing. Great way to get that in. Mom and dad aren't too into that. You may want to consider something like a supplement. And then uh, uh, glasses of water. We're always hearing. I know we always hear that water, eight yeah. glasses. Yeah. It's hard for any of right. us to get. Right. That's for seniors too. <laughs> they need more, right? Yeah. More? A good guideline over age 65 is to have nine eight-ounce glasses of liquid. Oh my gosh. But everything counts. Spend the day. Spend the day in the bathroom. <laughs> <all> <laughs> the, day in the, the bathroom. coffee, the right. tea, the juice, right? Oh, the milk absolutely. and the cereal. Every little thing. And okay. popsicles. Popsicles is a great thing that you can have for your parent. 
stick some natural fruit popsicles in the freezer, but you wanna watch for added sugars. One thing that I actually recommend to a lot of my patients is coconut water. Mm, oh it's yeah. easier oh. to find, it tastes great, and plus it has a lot of natural electrolytes. Unfortunately, we've run out of time, but very quickly, can you tell people where they can go to get more information? Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. so you can go to aplaceformom.com, and this is the largest senior referral agency in America. They are associated with, with uh, senior living centers all across the country. Don't wait to that moment that there's a crisis. That's what most people do. Mm -hmm. If you're an adult child and you see that your parent or loved one is struggling, feeding themselves every day, getting to taking all their medications, hook up, you know, all you have to do is go online, a placeformom.com. It's free. This is a free service to consumers and they will take you through that whole transition process. You'll find all the nutritional needs, recipes, oh, articles great. on every aspect yeah, of caregiving lot. to someone that you love. They'll hook you up with elder lawyers, everything. So I important guess. to be proactive about it. Thank, Thank you. you so much. And as you just heard, make sure that you go to aplaceformom.com. Thank <laughs> you.